Vector Consulting Group presents an afterthought on the aftermarket. Although OEM demand has decreased significantly in recent years, the demand in the aftermarket is increasing as ever before. Vehicle population is ever increasing. Growth in the aftermarket is thus perpetual, considering demand is triggered through replacements. With reduced offtake from OEMs, the aftermarket is like a savior for many auto component vendors. The typical approach is to appoint new distributors. But after an initial short-term jump in primary sales, orders from distributors decrease beyond normal levels. Auto component manufacturers should understand the critical conditions for increasing sales in a sustainable manner. If the item is available with most retailers in an area, then the demand in that area can be exploited significantly. This implies that the frequent unavailability of stock must be taken care of, as it results in reduced ordering by retailers. If the market is dominated by wholesalers, retailers never get to see the full range, because wholesalers mostly deal with fast movers. Two critical conditions that must be met are the placement and the continuous availability of a relevant range at maximum retail points. The enabling conditions for maximum range and reach are ensuring a continuous and predictable supply to retail points so no retailer holds excess stock for a few SKUs. Instead, the same capital is spread across a wider range. To ensure this continuous and predictable supply, it is important that the distributors focus on serving a dedicated territory without cross-territory dumping. This means that distributors should execute a weekly beat plan for order collection at retail points with reliable service frequency. But now the question is, why would the distributor shift to a new laborious and restricted way of working? The answer is simple, they do it for better returns on investments. If one can provide high availability of SKUs with 15 days of inventory, the ROI of distributors can go up by at least three times. The only way to ensure high availability at very low inventory is to operate the entire supply and distribution chain on principles of full replenishment. Production should produce what is immediately consumed rather than producing to forecasts. Similarly, stock movement from warehouse to distributor should also be based on consumption.